by night the sight of human like trees the sound of crickets and a world of historical treasures but then also by day magnificent castles resembling winter scenes from movies of days gone by safari museum and center for the arts is located in a secluded environment next to the scenic abadea ranges overlooking the laikipia plains and mount kenya this is the entrance that leads into what could be kenya's most modern museum and this here is the big reunion here you'll be able to reunite with your past appreciate the present and face the future A walk through the museum reveals some deep historical facts, all packaged in simplified pictures and recreated scenes of the actual natural world. Artificial clouds, a volcanic dummy, and actual volcanic ash retrieved from Mount Kenya are just some of the sights that will capture your attention. Here are fossils. It looks like I found one of them that looks like a tooth of a certain animal. at lived hundreds and hundreds of years ago the museum is an experiential tour established by tafaria in collaboration with the national museums of kenya i grew up here uh, in uh, from 1979 and i was when i was growing up this place was very uh, remote it was very isolated it was very lonely as well um, because we happened to be the first settlers here after the the colonial you know left one of our goals is to transform this uh, rural community and and we are transforming them not only physically but also through exposure and we thought there's a huge body of knowledge a huge body of research findings that is domiciled at the national museums of kenya in nairobi what if we decentralize that and made it available to the locals so that then they don't have to put in the the extra uh, dollar that it takes to travel all the way to the city Tafaria Museum of Art signed a memorandum of understanding with the National Museums of Kenya to try and disseminate the knowledge about our past in their settings in their compound This partnership allows for knowledge sharing the demystifying of science and a deeper understanding of our very existence to pave the way for a better more enlightened future geologists tell us that 600 million years ago the, the, there was a land mass that was formed of several continents that included antarctica africa the museum now hosts both local and foreign guests today students from a local school have come to visit so this is where the chiefs they splitted and they went to the forest same case to the gorilla we are purposely here to interact with the tafaria museum when uh, students come here they are always able to see what they were taught in class basically when i'm talking about the volcanoes when i'm talking about evolution in uh, both history and uh, biology when i'm talking about creation theory in cre they are able to interact with the real uh, pictures of what is uh, entirely happening access to this museum is free uh, to the students Are young learners who are within the Tafaria neighborhood there's more to discover in the museum including this old record player that was used by missionaries to play their messages the evolution of money and how its value has changed over the years back in 1920 a 10 cent could buy 50 kg of sugar but then after 25 years that is in 1945 that same ten cent could buy 25 kg of sugar then 2020 the money has become weak it can only buy just a grain and even a telephone booth that teleports you back to the early years of telecommunication if it was the early 80s or late 90s this is exactly how it'd be lining up to make that phone call to your loved ones but of course huge transformations have happened but this is not the end of our reunion to ensure the conservation of trees a naming system has been adopted for each tree in the facility it's called the tree talk a human face is superimposed on the trees so that each one of them can be uniquely identified just like a real person and the, the hope is that uh, 
at the end, we are going to appreciate these trees more. We're going to take care of them more or in a, in a better way. Now that you know, we know who they are, what they stand for, what they do to us, all right? And, and you're going to plant more of them. The Tafaria Center for the Arts endeavors to create a conducive environment that artists can thrive in. The goal is to expose local communities to the arts and inspire them to be more creative while offering artists a serene and tranquil space to create and design artwork on short-term basis. It is high time that we became very deliberate about this arts agenda. It is going to make us have deeper connections culturally. It is going to open up massive um, economic opportunities. I see chamas all the time that have been put together to do real estate projects, but I think now I would like to see chamas that have come together to make investments out of the arts. Brian Mutai, Citizen TV.